Hi everyone, I'm Marie Stacks, president of Boost Midwest and host of our monthly Direct Perspective series. At Boost Midwest, we are a national operations consulting firm based here in the greater Chicago area. And we focus on elevating the results for our clients through sustainable solutions in project management and operations. One way we do that is by providing resources like our guests on our Direct Perspective series. And today I am excited to be joined by Jacqueline Dawn. She is the Director of New Business at Quicksilver Studios, which is a part of L Street Collaborative. Jacqueline, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, absolutely. So let's start by having you share a little bit about yourself and your team and your company. Well, my name is Jacqueline Dawn and I am the Director of New Business. Um, and as Marie said, at Quicksilver Studios, which is a part of um, L Street Collaborative, we at Quicksilver um, are in the midst of rolling up into our, our parent company, which is L Street Collaborative, which is very exciting. Um, we currently, you know, dub ourselves as a, a creative agency, but um, part of this roll up will enable us to, you know, implement uh, more strategic and digital marketing. Um, and, you know, 2020 was a nice year to take a look at the business and reset and um, take a look at the market and see where there may be gaps and how we can help fill those gaps. And so that is our, that's our goal with L Street Collaborative to really help small businesses um, rebound and, and be part of this great American comeback. And you guys do some fantastic work. I know I've gotten the chance to talk to you and explore what you guys do. Um, you know, part of our company culture is our AIM solution and we track progress and outcomes. We do a lot of that same communication that you all do with your clients about how can we take you a step further? Um, what are some of the things that you guys use, key performance indicators, um, or just ways to monitor business progress? Sure, so as the director of new business, KPIs really help me formulate my, my roadmap to drive new business, whether that's uh, new business with new clients or whether that new business is with existing clients looking at new opportunities. And so the KPIs that I really focus on are um, you know, industries, what industries are we seeing the most business within? And then what services are we offering those industries and trying to identify uh, pain points and trends and how we're able to fill those gaps. Um, and then on, on the business side of things, you know, really looking at those services and looking at, you know, what's the average price per service and, you know, what's our profit margin uh, within that service and, and, you know, trying to help drive both of those up uh, as well as, you know, customer acquisition costs and, you know, where leads are coming from and, and how we're obtaining that new business. And I know you guys do a fantastic job of helping people build that brand, build that reputation and really, like you said, bring them to the forefront so that they can gain more clients and gain more traction. Um, what suggestions would you give someone that's looking to optimize their business, whether through the creative lens or even through operations? Sure. I mean, through an operations standpoint, I think the, the obvious in my sales hat answer is call Marie. Uh, but from a, a creative standpoint, you know, I think it's really important to, you know, take a step back and really understand, you know, what that pain point is or what you're looking to optimize and, and what that goal is or what the, the ideal output is. Um, and to use your KPIs, use your data, use the tools that you have in front of you um, to help that formulate your story and to formulate, you know, maybe why it's not as optimal as you had hoped. Um, and then possibly, you know, the most important is that human element. So you have the data, uh, you're able to formulate your story, but then talk to your team, talk to the people that are, you know, living and breathing it on a day-to-day -day basis and help, uh, that'll help you understand the why uh, and, and really get an in-depth understanding of why the data is telling you what it is. I love that you hit on the team aspect of it. I think that's, you know, we always say data tells a story, but your team mm -hmm. tells it best. And so yeah. I, I love that aspect of building a team and having that team around you. Um, one of the things we often ask is what team members are critical to your success, to your client's success? Sure. You know, I think that our specific business model, it, it, it's cheesy to say, but like every piece of the team is really critical. And, you know, as a sales team member, as a leader of the sales team, I really rely on my heart team to produce the service, you know, to, to give me that end product to present to the client and vice versa. 
you know, the art team is relying on the sales team to provide them with those projects to help keep their hours, to help keep them busy. Um, but when I really think about it, you know, the glue that holds both of us together is our project management team. Uh, we are, we have a unique model in that the project manager is on that initial call with the client. So from the very beginning, there is a, under, a clear understanding of, of what the scope of the project is and what the ask is and who on our team we need to fulfill that ask. You know, there's the, you know, the age old turmoil between sales and operations. Sales is go, go, go. Or it's operations is like, hold on, <laughs> slow down. That's not, what are you selling? That's not possible. And what I really love about our approach is that sales and operations are united from the very beginning. So both are hearing what the client's ask is. And then from there, before we, you know, hit the races, we can formulate a plan that sales and operations can both agree on and, and move from there. So um, yeah, project management is really what holds it all together for us. Love it. We often hear clients say project management is the glue, but I love that you guys are already using that best practice of having everyone at the table that needs to be there. Um, it helps kind of keep everyone aligned throughout. So I, I'm sure your project managers are extremely grateful for that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, well, what challenges, you know, you, t you briefly mentioned that you guys are rolling into the L street, uh, collaborative mm -hmm. space with your, with your company. Um, what challenges did you see out of 2020 and maybe even today that you think business leaders are, are being faced with and having to kind of tackle? Sure. So we really kind of identified three buckets um, where there's, you know, sales, um, utility and communication. And, you know, I, I think 2020 was a big indicator that, you know, we all need to become go digital in some way. And, and, you know, and we say digital innovation, but that could really mean a, a lot of things from, um, you know, automating sales flows to even it's just as simple as, you know, some of these smaller uh, family run businesses that, you know, maybe they do 20, $30 million a year, but they don't have an online presence, something as simple as a website um, to them, that is digital innovation. And so, you know, uh, and even things as small as like training, you know, everyone is remote. And so is there a cons consistent platform where everyone can, you know, attend the same training and receive the same message? Um, and then even, you know, going back to the office, going back to work, uh, communicating what that's going to look like, uh, really, you know, unifying and digitizing the message, whether that's internally, externally. That's such fantastic insight. And I think too, you've hit on a lot of different aspects that a company could really dig into um, to improve themselves. So mm -hmm. I love that. Um, one of my favorite questions to ask of our guest is what is your daily motto or what gets you energized to get started every day? You know, I am a newer mom to a, a little girl and it's tough managing both. Um, but you know, she's my, she really is my motivation. You know, I want her to to think back about me and how excited I was to be at work and how much I love what I do and, and let that motivate her. I love that. I, I resonates with me significantly. I know it'll resonate with a lot of our, our followers. So, well, thank you so much, Jacqueline, for joining me today. I love getting to share resources like this with our subscribers and followers. Um, and if you are in need of some creative insight, uh, definitely give Jacqueline and her team a call. Um, you will not be disappointed by the work that they do. And uh, thanks so much again, Jacqueline, appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. It was nice to see you. Absolutely.